The Shiera Aquarium is an indoor public aquarium in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States. Opened in the 1930s, the aquarium was for some time the largest indoor facility in the world. As well, it was the first inland aquarium with a permanent saltwater fish collection. So why are we talking about aquarium in the USA? Well, in 2003, Shed opened a wild reef, a permanent exhibit located two levels below the main building. A aquarium with a total of 525,000 US gallons. And it recreates a Philippine coral reef on the Apple Island Marine Reserve. So here we have one of the most popular aquariums in the world and it's based off Apo Island. On today's episode, we're visiting the island to a place where the wild reef section of Shed Aquarium was recreated from. Good evening guys, it's actually 7 p.m. here in Darwin and I just want to do a quick intro here because in, in the morning we're going to Apo Island and it's going to be a completely different episode from the other previous diving because we'll be shooting big things, wide angle. Previously we had only been doing macro. Let's set that up and then I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's 8.30 a.m. and we're late like usual. We're supposed to be at 7.30, so we've got our rest takes. Load the gear to the boat. And then we're off to... What is that? It's a saloon pass. <laughs> when you have a headache with something like this. We're going to Apo Island. But the main difference in this dive we're changing it up completely different what, to a wide angle. So last night I attached all of this gear, put the uh, dome on, different lights. These are very powerful because we're going to be filming big stuff today. I'm super excited that we're going to go to different dive spots, dive areas of Off Island that we've never been to. Normally if you go to the touristy areas or when you go to Off Island, they drop you off in a very safe and easy dive with a lot of turtles. But we're going to change it up today and we're gonna go check out some of the epic spots. Maybe schools of Jack, loads of big things. Very excited for it. It's a bit way windy today. <laughs> we're gonna blast through the ocean straight to our pilot in the background. All right, so we're on the boat now and this is the new normal. Everybody that gets to the boat has to wear a mask, social distance somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but... And then the uh, Coast Guard comes to take picture to confirm that everybody is following the uh, new rules and regulation, very good, and then we're off. Up Island is hands down the most healthy reef system I've seen so far in the Philippines and if you're coming here, you got to put it on your bucket list. But there's a reason why it's so well preserved and healthy, it's because it's the first marine protected sanctuary in the Philippines. It started in 1982. It is also home over 650 documented species of fish and over 400 species of corals, making it one of the world's most biodiverse places on the planet for its size. As we descend deeper down, we noticed very, very strange area, a white sandy bottom, which is kind of unique for Apple Island because it's full of coral but the strange thing was all these bubbles coming out of the ground these are bubbles from volcanic activity under the island I've never seen anything like this before how crazy is that swimming down there knowing there's a lava deep down in the earth that might blow up one day perhaps
And here's a shot of a small cuttlefish, absolutely tiny, because today we got the wide angle lens on my camera. And you can clearly see why one of the biggest marine biology university in the Philippines is located here in Dumaguete, because of all the corals in such a small concentrated area is found here. So enough of that, let the pictures do all the talking. Wow, that was crazy reef and just wait until you see the next dive. What do you reckon, Crater Hunter? If I have to be honest, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> <laughs> we are so spoiled. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, how many actual critters did you film? Oh, man, we had yeah, one critter. That was the cuddle, cuttlefish, right? Did you get that with that giant lens? I don't know how it came with this camera, up, but... I filmed you filming that, and it was like this big in front of your huge camera. So you guys gotta see that, it's hilarious. He's like, he's like looking in the lens like that. Yeah, I don't forgot it, but... I did, sure I, I did love this dive because now we saw the strength of the uh, A7S3. I feel like we're kind of close to the show right now. We'll be good. We'll be good. Got some fishermen there. Hey -o. See, they're using line fishing. That's the proper way. Fishing legally. Whoa! 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 This is crazy. But the water looks way clearer here. Look at that. Yeah, that's super. Cool. How deep is it here? I can see the bottom. All right, we're gonna tattoo one of these buoys over there. We're gonna suit up, and I guess we'll see you guys in the water. On our second dive, we drop down on a dive site called Kogun, and from there we drift down all the way to Rock Point, east and west. If you visit Up Wildland for the first time, you will usually be dropped down at a chapel, which is a really well protected area and there's a lot of turtles over there on the other side is a bit more advanced and if you're experienced you can request to do that dive and that was one of my favorite dives ever
Wow, hands down best coral formations I've ever seen and I don't like to compare places but I would say those corals, those formations were probably better than I saw in some parts of Raja Ampat. I, I was thinking about Raja when, I, when we were down there. And that's like the highest compliment you can give to any reef in the world. That was, I think it was actually honestly better some of those. Yeah, I've never been to that side of, this side of the island. Me neither. And it's really good, it's awesome, it's safe in the front. But then this one, we are just drifting by really fast. <laughs> some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. That's why I was like, dude, it's just mind blown because there's like shelves and shelves of shelves and shelves of table coral and snack horn. And you know what? Whoa. As you saw in the footage, guys, that was pure drift the whole time. We were going really fast at times. So if you're not experienced, you definitely need to be at least advanced, maybe 50 dives plus to do that one, I would say. Because, yeah, that's why the girls skipped out. And you know, if you're not confident in drifting, but you guys gotta no, see good. what I filmed. I filmed him taking a selfie in the drift. His camera was just following him. That was awesome. So neutrally buoyant. It was following in front and he wasn't even touching it. He was just like, the, the camera was following him the same exact speed. It was hilarious. Oh, I had man. to film that. I hope you guys enjoyed that.